what's up folks i did something dumb but it's one of those things where it's so dumb it's kind of cool i've got to give a presentation actually a couple of presentations this week uh, one to some local folks and one to the u.s department of the interior i think which is weird but okay um and rather than working on those slideshows which is what i should have been doing i was doing anything else i can think of because i don't really like making slideshows and I couldn't really figure out what software I wanted to put the slides in. I didn't want to use desktop stuff like uh, PowerPoint or LibreOffice. And I didn't really want to do it in like Google Slides or that stuff. I usually like to do these presentations in some like developer-y kind of thing, like an HTML and JavaScript framework for slides. But yeah, I hadn't done that in a while, and I'm not a huge fan of Reveal because it just feels kind of old and clunky. Still uses Gulp, which uh, since shutters up my spine. And the other one I used to use is Atomic Writes Big, which is cool, but it always felt like I needed to hack it a little bit whenever I used it to get it to do exactly what I want. And it hasn't been updated in a couple of years. I did run across this one of these. YouTube has these new little, uh, we're competing with TikTok little videos, and the Google developers had one, and it was about making a vertical slideshow with just some CSS. And by golly, that's what I did. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in a code pen so you can see it cleanly. I just have uh, eight sections with just an H1 tag in it, and we are going to make a vertical slideshow. So let's set our HTML. I have a cat in my lap that's moving around if I start typing like a crazy person. We're going to give it a scroll snap type. And let's make that Y mandatory. We're going to make this a vertical scroll. And then for our section, we want each section to take up the entire page. So we'll go block size, 100 view height. And let's give it some snapping options. We'll go scroll, snap, line, center. And we're going to make the scroll snap, snap, scroll snap, stop, center as well. So look at this. I'm just going to move. I'll just hit the arrow key. You can use arrow or scroll or finger to drag. And these are slides. It's that easy. Let's pretty up the content a little bit. Let's get it centered like we like our slides. We'll go display flex. And we'll go place items center and justify content center. Now we've got our centered. We got slides with just this little bit of CSS. The other nice thing Big would do is it would scale your text. And it used some JavaScript to do that, if I remember correctly. So your text would, size would respond to the size of the, the user screen. We don't need to do all that JavaScript anymore, though. Let's just go. Yeah, we'll just make it on the H1 here, just an example, because that's all we're using. We'll go font size. Let's just make it a portion are proportional to the page view width. So now we have text that will respond to the size. So this tiny bit of CSS. So I just ran with that and I started making my, my brief slideshow and my slides are just terrible. They don't mean anything. The, the only reason I use slides usually is so that you don't have to stare at me the whole time, which it's probably not good for you. So I just got some slides, got some animated GIFs, got some bullet points. You can see how fast this is too. Got a YouTube video because you can embed anything you want. It's just HTML and CSS. Uh, more bullet points, some imagery, and then like an outro slide. And the main structure of the CSS is really just this. That is powering the slides. Now, if we look at that, 
I'm doing some niceties. It's about 140 lines of CSS. There is zero JavaScript in this slideshow. We're importing a font. Uh, we're using some CSS variables at the top that kind of are used down in the rest. A little bit of reset to keep things consistent. We have some typography, and I'm using this uh, base text size of an 8 view width and just scaling that down. So H1 is, is that full text size, and H2 is that text size minus 2 view width, H3 is minus 4 view width, regular text is minus 4.5 view width. So just like that, some little decorations for links. Here's our HTML structure. Not a whole lot. Yeah, it's a little bit of niceties over what we had in that code pen, but not a whole lot. We're setting iframes to fill the screen, and there's two types of background images you can set. You can set like a slide background image, like you'd want for this. This is meant to be just background and not important. So you give that an image class of background. What that'll do is when you print, it won't show, because when you print, all the text gets converted to black. So if you want an image like this, where the image is a thing, you're not putting text over it, and you want it to print, you can get an image type of cover. It'll still go, it has the same styling, but it doesn't go do a display none when you print. Then I just have this media print section. So when you go to print, it changes the size so it makes each slide fit on a landscape eight and a half by 11 page. As a landscape, you'd say 11 by eight and a half, but so each, each slide is exactly one page and you can just print it right out. Anyway, again, it's dumb. The world doesn't need this, but I just had a lot of fun making this and I didn't feel like working on slides. So this was a good distraction to spend an hour or two just dorking around with this. I, I don't know what I'm going to do this. I, I'll, I'll put this code in the blog post and maybe I'll throw it on GitHub at some point if I think it's interesting enough. But it's this is really a slideshow for, for developer nerdy types because no one else wants to write stuff. But each slide is a section and you just do your thing. If there's anything in a section you want to be a little different than the standard, like on this H1, I have this text, instead of dead center, I have it down a bit. And I apply like a RGBA, a, a, a semi-transparent black background under the text, so the text doesn't wash out on this background. So for there, I just gave that H1 a little bit extra style just to do that funky stuff I wanted to do. And everything else is pretty much standard. I don't think I had to do a single bit of other embedded style stuff in here to make these slides. All right, I'll share that code. Again, dumb, but fun, and maybe you'll find some use of it, or at least think the uh, CSS is interesting. Hope everybody's doing well, and they're happy, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.